Hello, welcome to the solid state physics. This is MXC 4.09. This is a course introduction for the solid state physics. This is me. I'm going to be the instructor for the solid state physics subjects. My full name is Chan Da So. You guys can call me Chan. I graduated the Bachelor of Engineering in Material and Metallurgy in my country, Myanmar. Then I finished my master's degrees in material science engineering at Mahiro University in Bangkok, Thailand. My research interest is about optoelectronic device and bound materials and bound sensor. So let's talk about solid state physics. It is solid state physics, even in the names, there is two portions. We have a solid state, we have a physics. So what is solid state? Let's talk about solid state. Material, there are first many different states. We have a solid state, liquid state, gas state, and the state of the plasma. What the difference is that is, the difference is the arrangement of the atoms. How the atom arrange in the material is defined as what is the state of the material, whether it is solid state, liquid state, gas state, or plasma state. In this solid state, the atoms are bound to each other maybe in the crystallines or maybe in these amorphous forms, but whatever, they are closely packed together and contains the least amount of kinetic energy. So this is how the atom arrange with the least amount of kinetic energy in the solid state. And physics, the physics is about the nature. We understand the nature in terms of the law of using the principle of the physics. So the physics is the natural science that study the physics matter, its fundamental constituents, its motions and behavior through the space and time, and the related entity of energy and force. It is to understand how the universe behaves. But in the solid state physics, we are going to use the physics, the principle, law, principle, the concepts in physics to understand the solid state of the material, how the atoms arrange together, how the force between the atoms occur, how the property of material is happens. This is how we are going to learn using the, the concepts, law, and principle in physics to understand the solid state material. So the solid state material is the study of the rigid matter or solid through a lot of principle or methods using such as quantum mechanics, crystallography, electromagnetism, and metallurgy. So whatever the solids or the richest matter it is, these solids material have the mechanical property, or thermal property, electrical property, magnetic property, and also the optical property. So the property of this material are depend on the arrangement of the atoms. What kind of atoms are included in this material, how the atoms arrange, how the molecule arrange in this material, what are the forces between th these atoms in the material, and also the interaction with the environments of these material, for example, light matter interactions. So to understand the arrangement of atoms, the force between the atoms, we need to understand, we need to know, we need to use the the concept, the law of principle in the quantum mechanics, in crystallography, electromagnetism, and metallurgy. This is about what we are going to study in the solid state physics. So why the solid state physics? Let's take a look at the periodic table. More than 90% of all the elements in the periodic table are in the form of the solid. And take a look around you and anything you're touching is in a solid material. So in our daily life, every material that we are using is in the solid material, even our cell, our body is also the richest matter, solid material. So that's why we need to understand the state of the solids or the material very well than the other, any other form of the material. That's why I would like to show, I would like to show, I would like to teach the solid state material and understanding with the physics. 
Moreover, the solestophysis is also the larger branch of the content matter physics. In the physia, there are so many different kinds of physics. We have the nuclear physics, particle physics, atomic molecular optical physics, content matter physics, astrophysics, applied physics. So many different types of physics we have. But here, there is only one part, which is content matter physics. So this solid state physics is one of the largest branch of the content matter physics. So we have a lot of concept and theory to understand in the way of the physics to understand the solid state material. And also the solid state physics is also theoretical basis of the material science. So material science, what is material science? Material science is the interdisciplinary subject suspending the physics and the chemistry of matter and also engineering applications, industrial manufacturing process. So here, so material science is about how we are going to engineer the material, how we understand about the material, how we are going to do the processing about the material. So that's why the solid state basis, the physics is giving the theoretical basis to how you to engineer the material, to how you design the material, to how you process the material into the real application. So that's why solid state is important. And what are the applications of the solid state physics? So there are so many applications of solid state physics in our daily life. The concept that's explained by the law and principle in the solid state physics are around us. But here's a few applications that I would like to emphasize, that I would like to point out. The first one, the electronic device, such as your mobile phones and your computer, the one that you are using now in your daily life, is based on the concepts explained by the law and principle in solid state physics. And optic devices, such as laser and fiber optic, this is about the concept from the solid state physics. And also magnetic based devices that use in the hospital as a magnetic resonant imaging, MRI, and also silicon based logic memory bed. This is a, just a tiny few examples that I am giving you the concept that explains find the law and principle and theory in solid state physics. Here we are going to understand, here we are going to study about the concept that will be explained by the law and principle in solid state physics course. So that's why I would like you to join this course because this is very important. Okay, so there is two parts in this course. The first one and second part. So the first part, we were introduced about this solid state physics. Here in this uh, lesson, mostly, I'm going to record your memory in your high school. The mechanics process, about the basic chemistry, about your uh, general knowledge about the solid state physics. And then I'm going to build up from the beginning the electrons, protons, and neutrons F in the atoms, how the electronic structure of the, the particle, how the electronic structure of the atom. That is how we are going to start to learn about the the material. So these atoms are the foundation of the material. That's why we need to understand very well how the atoms are uh, behaving in the material. So that's how the atoms are bonding each other in the material. That's it. Another part of another path in the sessions. And then we need to understand about if the atom arrange in the material, how atom arrange, so we need to understand about the crystal structure of the material. And to do the characterization of the crystal structure, we need to understand about the ace wave diffraction. This ace wave diffraction will help you characterize how atom arrange in the material. Then we need to study about crystal information. How the imperfection of the crystal and the perfection of the crystal get the property of the material, define the property of the material. So this is very important. And then we just go to the atomic diffusion, atomic vibration. That is how atoms are making diffusions and vibrations. That is giving the thermal property of the material. So this is the first part. So second part, 
is what's going a bit much into the electronic property of the material. First, we need to understand the free electrons in the crystal. And also, at this, the subsequently, we need to understand about band theory. And then we will go to the semiconducting property of the material before the foundation of the free electron and band theory. And then we will go to dielectric property of the material and optical property of the material. Then electronics and magnetic property, we have to bring together. That's why I'm going to give you about the magnetic property of the material and superconductivity. And finally, I'm going to give you the modern research of the solid material. This is what is it about. We are going to land in this solid state physics. And the first two main reference that I'm going to give you, the first one is solid state physics, Augsburg solid state physics. The second one is introduction to solid state physics. This is the main two reference book that I want to uh, uh, make a reference for you guys to read in more detail. But I also recommend you the other four book that's uh, uh, when you have the much more in detail, you, I would like to recommend to take a look in this book and then you will have much more, much more fun. So the course ID is the solid state physics and ID is MXC 4.0, 4, uh, 4, 4 and the instructor is the Chen the so, and then you can kind of email me any question that you would like to inquire about the solid state physics. I hope you guys enjoy the upcoming lessons in the near very future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, see you guys.